Welcome to the Sports Stats and Gab channel, where I'm showing part two of the 1973 NFL Cheap Shots, Hard Hits, and Fights video. Here's some more rough stuff. Vikings number 77 Gary Larson brings out the clothesline for Charlie Sanders. Cardinals number 71 Bob Reynolds spears a downed Roger Staubach and Chiefs number 80 Andy Hamilton receives a backbreaker. Number 57, Mark Arneson throws a forearm across the bridge of the nose belonging to Jim Del Gazo as a sign of their friendship. Why don't innocent bystanders learn to get the hell out of the way? Here's another guy. Get out of the way! Number 11, Randy Johnson suffered a concussion on this play. It's not very often that you see a quarterback jump onto a defender who just intercepted your pass. But John Reeves did. Okay, number 23, Levi Johnson gets hogtied by QB John Brody, then tackle Len Rowe drills him.
comes another backbreaker. You don't need to be hammered by your teammate. The opposition is doing a good enough job of that. I have never seen a helmet pop into the air that high. This play looks like a cartoon. Are you kidding me? Cleveland Browns number 72 Jerry Shirk caused Terry Hanratty a strained wrist. Hanratty was knocked out of the game on that play. quarterback Mike Phipps took a lot of big hits in this week 12 game against the Chiefs. Peter Lockhart belts Larry Brown and leaves him reeling. This is the tackling technique that was prominent back in the day. I don't do it anymore. High tackles seem to be the preferred choice in this Cowboys Redskins tilt. Cliff Harris bulldogs Berkeley Morris on this play. Pretty safe to say that we won't see a QB pay back an interceptor like this anytime soon.
What did you think of that? Let me know in the comments and check out part one of the 1973 NFL Cheap Shots, Hard Hits, and Fights. Thank you for watching.